Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Thursday, January 11th, 10.16 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. You're looking at the GFS model for the next 24 hours. This major storm that is now entering the fray is going to dump massive amounts of snow here in the northwest. We'll get to that. California mudslides, evacuation zones expand as search continues. There's a lot going on down here. 17 dead is the death toll currently. Up to words of 43 people still missing. As teams frantically search areas of Southern California smothered by rivers of mud and boulders, officials on Thursday increased the size of the evacuation zones. The immediate areas where at least 17 people were killed by Monday's mudslides are under mandatory evacuation. We know that this is terribly inconvenient development, but is also incredibly necessary, Brown said to residents. They're still looking for those that are missing, guys. Look at some of these pictures. 101, impassable. Total devastation in those areas. Let's talk about the storms. The crack in Yakima is right here. It is now being dumped upon. So we're going to be watching that closely for that slide to occur maybe from this system. Here are the projected snowfall totals from the GFS. I'll shrink it down so you can see what the totals are. These yellow zones here are over almost three feet. And anywhere in dark red is at least 12 inches. So a foot or more in all these areas. And this storm is going to be moving to the right. Let's look, go back to this. This storm here forming here in the middle of the country um, that just came through the Four Corners area and gave us snow is now called Storm Hunter. And we'll be talking about it. Here's a little shot from my backyard yesterday. Wolf Creek. Thank you, Keenan. Look at the powder. We get the most snow in Colorado. And this is the first snow of the season. She is stoked. <laughs> Winter Storm Hunter brings snow and ice from Tennessee to Arkansas. We just showed you that line. Snow and ice will spread east into the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, and eastern Great Lakes into Friday. That wintry mess will then arrive in parts of interior northeast Friday into Saturday. Heavy snow possible from the eastern Great Lakes into northern New England, accumulating ice. This is an ice storm, guys. This does not look good, and it's going to break the records that are already being broken in Erie. Winter Storm Hunter could vault Erie, Pennsylvania to new snowfall records. Look at how serious this guy is pointing right down here. It's going to be 17, and there'll be ice. Heads up. I don't know what he's saying, but he's pretty concerned, and he really looks like he knows what he's doing. Look at the hand gestures. I mean, he's putting his hand down there, and things are getting real. Look at that. Definitely, that's definitely Chicago, and there's definitely going to be snow there. And down here in Nashville... And, and, and we're not showing where the snow goes all the way to the south because that would mean global warming isn't happening. Erie, Pennsylvania is nearing its snowiest winter record. Already 133 inches of snow have been measured, and that's coming right to Erie, which is right here in the green. So this line is going to move across Lake Erie and potentially hit Erie. Thanks for moving out of the way, fella. That's about 16 inches shy of the snowiest season in Erie, with more than half of the winter remaining, plus all of the grand solar minimum spring, which you guys are going to be really surprised at what happens during that time period. Barn roof collapses under the weight of its own snow, just like our greenhouse did last winter. Guys, when snow melts and it warms up, it freezes into a glacier, gets real heavy, and then boom. And that is a big boom. Right down on the guy's whatever. Yep, crushed his vehicles for sure. <laughs> Heads up. Oh, big boom. Okay, where are we at? To the white screen, clearly. Let's go back to the big boom while that spins a little. See what they have to say. Lakeshore was pummeled with record-breaking lake effect snow in recent weeks. This January has caused new problems. The meltdown is weighing down the light and fluffy snow that piled up on roofs, just like I told you. And then you hear a loud sound while you're sleeping. So you're sitting there sleeping, and then big boom, and you come out, and your cars are crushed. <laughs> Extreme cold warning issued for Calgary and surrounding areas. That's a heads up. Snow closes highways in southern Manitoba. Extreme cold warnings issued in the north. 
This is going to continue. We're going to have a pattern here. Extreme cold warnings for parts of Saskatchewan. Extreme cold selfies in northern British Columbia. Bundles up for minus 45C weather. School buses canceled. Warning issues issued as temperature, temperatures plunge to the North Pole. I thought that Canada wanted Santa to move. What's going on? And extreme cold warnings have been issued for much of Alberta. It's minus 22 today. Environment Canada has issued extreme cold warnings on Wednesday for most of Alberta. The Arctic air mass returns Wednesday, plump, pummeling temperatures in Alberta, minus 40 or colder. Buyer expects Edmonton to feel anywhere between minus 30 and minus 40. Canada is cold. Where were we? Yeah, these are the extreme cold isn't keeping people in northern British Columbia from their daily routines. But it's stopping buses and causing Environment Canada to issue warnings. Portions of northeast and northwest British Columbia, including Fort St. John, Dawson's Creek, Fort Nelson, Dees Lake, Watson Lake, Yukon, are under extreme cold warnings with temperatures from the mid-minus 30s to minus 40s and wind chill values below minus 45, which will freeze your flesh right off the bone. <coughs> now, rare snowstorms hit she. Shikoku and Kyushu in southwestern Japan. Rare storm affecting Shikoku and Kyushu, southwestern Japan today, January 11th, causing traffic chaos through the region. Numerous traffic accidents were already reported. At least nine people injured. Heavy snowfall, icy road conditions such as today's are rarely seen in this region. Isn't that that's a lot of snow and a lot of words. I don't even know what it means. And that's a heads up. And a big boom. To the facts. Record snow depths for Alpe de Huiz. Deepest snowpack in 30 years. This is in that area where that uh, these avalanches are occurring. A snow depth of 158 centimeters at the base of the resort has broken all records for January since measurements began back in the 80s. 47 homes destroyed, 20 injured after violent hailstorm rips through Zimbabwe. Guys, Zimbabwe is a bullseye for hail. This is the third hailstorm destroying buildings in as many weeks. Now the storm ripped through South Solobela, Kwikwi District, and the Midlands Province in central Zimbabwe. The worst affected were wards 1, 2, 21, 32, authorities said. 47 homes were destroyed. 20 people injured from giant falling balls of ice. Seismic update. We have standard aftershocks from the major quakes that have plagued the area in the Caribbean here. We also have a major cluster happening to the east here, which we got to watch. Now, the Burma earthquake, there's really no information coming out about it as far as injuries, but there are aftershocks. We'll be watching that region. Now, we did an earlier update on Bali volcano erupting today after they let people back near the volcano. Now, we were predicting a major eruption, which still hasn't happened. So, I hope that the people that went back realize that they should probably not go back. Because this volcano is regularly, regularly emitting ash blasts that are consistently similar, which could be just like pre-quakes are to a large quake, small bursts before the major explosion. And this one going up 2,500 meters, uh, the airport was not shut down. The Agong Volcano in Bali Resort of Indonesia spew an ash column of 2,500 meters into the sky in its latest eruption today. And we'll be watching it. Also, Cinnabung erupting today, Ibiko erupting, with lava, I don't have any info on that, but that's what it's saying here. Ducono, Reventador, Cinnabon, Ibico, and Cadavar all still active. We're watching Cadavar for that earth-changing explosion that could happen at any time. Now, this is a little bit of science we're going to cover real quick here. Molecular clue to the mystery of carbon's cosmic origin uncovered. A chemical found in a distant gas cloud could help explain where life came from. 
Now let's run through this together. This is all coming out in the last few weeks. And I believe this is part of the narrative. So just bear with me and follow me here. Researchers using the Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia identified signatures of a molecule, benzonitrile. Now benzonitrile, the heart of it is a six carbon hexagon called benzene. And this, uh, the benzene puts the compound in the aromatic class of molecules that make benzonitrile a building block for a group called the polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or the PAHs. Now, this contains lots of carbon hexagons. And scientists think that PAHs are incredibly common in the universe, yet they haven't been able to identify them. And so this is basically identifying those he carbon hexagons. So what this art is telling us that there is the building blocks of life in the universe. Now, if we come over to CNN, there's an article about ingredients for life being found in meteorites that crashed onto Earth. So clearly, these carbon molecules are in meteorites crashing into Earth. But astronomers want to find it in stars. So now we have the building blocks of life in stars, the building blocks of life in meteors, in meteorites, according to this article. Two meteorites called Monahans and Zag are the first discovered to contain the ingredients for life. Liquid water, amino acids, hydrocarbons, and other organic matter. The organic matter was found in purple and blue salt and potassium crystals that were part of the meteorites. Now, this coming out today as well, Mars is covered in ice. Yep, just below the surface. Millions of gallons of water on Mars, all frozen up. And they just figured this out. <laughs> At the same time, they found out that there's life in the universe and that there's life raining on the planet. And there's also water on Mars. And they also released diagrams of UFOs right through the CIA. This is all happening this week. And that's a big boom. I'll leave you links to the Freedom of Information Act uh, UFO files for you to peruse. And clearly there's a narrative being unfolded on the commoners that the aliens are coming and we might be aliens. And there is a water on Mars. I bet you there's a base there already. And here are the diagrams. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. It was fun. Snow is falling across the U.S. The Northwest is currently being dumped upon by this system. The depths are epic. This, the winter has just begun, and the snow started months ago. It has already snowed in all 50 states, and now the snowpack will build. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so now. Share this with like-minded people. The cold is coming. We're reporting on it. We have the facts. Be safe.